Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's episode is going to be a swatch, a review and demo about the gorgeous Natasha Denona Star Palette. Pow wow, here we go. Now this is the outside box and it's white and it's got this gorgeous Natasha Denona with the stars. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna try and reflect it back and forth. And then when you turn it to the back, it tells you the shadows that's in the palette as well as its ingredients, so on and so forth. Who is Natasha Denona? Natasha Denona was born in Croatia. She was raised in Germany and I think she lives in Israel. She was a former model and you know being around models, beauty, magazines, editorial shoots. It's no surprise that she turned her passion to makeup and beauty and coming out with this fantastic collection that she has especially in shadows. She's known for luxe. She's known for glamour. I'm going to put up some pictures of editorial pieces that she has done for a slew of various magazines. She popped out of nowhere a couple of years ago and I think girlfriend is here to stay. So out goes the box, in here's the palette and this is what it looks like. It's gold, it's got this kind of faux leather, uh, kind of like a booklet and it has a metal clasp. So it goes powwow and it closes like that. We're going to open it again but I just wanted to demonstrate for you. So you see it's got a kind of soft leather, it's got the star, star palette and then it's got the same in the back and it's got this gold glamour you know night shining doodah going on when you open it you've got the mirror I've still kept the film on it so that it don't have any flashback and then you have a film right here and on the film you have the names of the shadows what she did was that she named each shadow from 101 to 118 she's got 18 shadows here and she's got the various names on the film which you can lift up and then go right into your workstation she has the warm shades and then she's got the cool shades she's got metallic she's got three metallics she has two duo chromes she has four crystal finishes and she has nine soft mats absolutely gorgeous when it comes to the mats I felt that they blended well I felt that they were really creamy and soft fabulous for me yeah not a problem absolutely for the crystals they were okay and these are these ones right here these are the crystals as well as the metallics and that has a much more crumbly finish loved them apart from Galaxia. Galaxia just crumbled onto the brush like snow. I had to work with it just to get some kind of finish out of it. And at the very end, I just used my finger to dab onto my lids. I'm wearing the makeup right here, which we're going to go into the next segment, but I just wanted to talk a little bit more about the palette, yeah? Okay, so what do we have here? It is a biggie. Now, when I say it's a biggie, it's $169. It's 140 pounds. Ula was wonderful. He bought it for me. He knows I have issues. He's taking me to the therapist, but when he found out that the therapist costs more than the makeup that I'm really buying, he just put his hands up, gave in. That was it. <laughs> if you didn't know it by now, I have issues. That's why I'm a makeup artist. That's why I'm here doing all of these things for you. It's $169. You've got 18 pounds. If you divide it by 18, it comes to $9.44. How much is in a pan? You have 2.5 grams. The entire palette is 45 grams. If you're talking about Anastasia Beverly Hills, ABH, her single shadows are $12. Bobbi Brown has 2.5 grams, exactly as the Natasha Denona. And guess what, guys? It's 25 pounds. Yes, ma'am. As opposed to nine pounds 44. All right, let's go to NARS. This is 2.2 grams. $25. Yes, darlings. And MUA shadows, 2.2 grams, $21. When you're talking about MAC, 1.3 grams, and you are paying $16 per single shadow, which also goes for MUA's Makeup Forever single shadows. That goes for NAR single shadows. That also goes for Bobby Brown single shadows. So you've, you're paying in the 20s for all of this. You're only paying $9.44 for each shadow in this pan. Here is the thing, I'm just trying to justify the palette at the same time. We know that if you buy one, it is a full price. If you buy two, it goes a little bit down. If you buy three, so on and so forth. So this is a palette that is not going anywhere. It is staying right there. It's like Chanel. It does not go on sale. And still there's a waiting list. 
I'm one of them. <laughs> on the list. Don't tell Ula. <laughs> what? <laughs> and it's cruelty free, which means that it is not tested on animals. Yes, darlings, which I think is a refreshing difference from her other palettes. She had talc in the other palettes. I don't think she has it in this one. But you can get the palette at Beautylish. Beautylish has a three pay system, which I love. So you can pay in three installments if you want to buy this palette. And you can also get it on Sephora.com. Yeah? And then, my loves, for those that are the beginners, it can be overwhelming. So what did she do? She put the colors in a three set as well as a quad. So if you go horizontally, if you go vertically, if you go diagonally, going this way, you can use these three colors in an eyeshadow story. You can go across and have an eyeshadow story. You can go right down and have an eyeshadow story. You can also go in a quad, four, 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 four you can have an eyeshadow story. I'm going to go through all of the shadows right now and we are going to start with the warm shades and that's the nine right here. It's going to be one, two, three. That's how I'm going to go and I'm going to describe all of the colors for you and I'm going to let you know what the numbers and the letters stand for. Yeah? Okay. The first color in the warm tone package is called Spectrum. Spectrum's number is 101K and the K stands for crystal finish. It's a sparkling golden brown. The second color is 102CM and CM stands for creamy matte and that is a dark brown. Then we go to Bellatrix and that's 103M and that stands for metallic. That is a metallic nude. So that is the top layer. Then we go to the next set and that color is called Flesh. 104CM standing for creamy matte. That's a warm nude. Then we go to Orion. Orion is 105DC standing for duo chrome and that is a green brown. Then we go to Gemma. And Gemma is 106 cm. Again, ladies, that is creamy matte. That's a dark brown with red undertones. Then we go to Atria, and that's 107 m. That's a metallic, and that's more or less a burnt orange. Then we go to Titania. Titania is 108 cm, standing for creamy matte, and that's a neutral brown. The last color in the warm tone family is Cosmo, Cosmo 109K. Again, crystal finish, and that's a golden olive. All of her metallics and all of her crystals crumble. The palette says that it doesn't crumble. That is not true. It crumbles. All right, we're going over to the cool tones, and we're starting from the very top, going right across from left to right, first row, second row, third row. First one is Diadem, and that's 110CM, standing for cream mat and that's gray with violet undertones then we have vega 11 cm creamy matte and that's a powder pink i think it's gorgeous i love this color then we have galaxia and that's 112 crystal finish and that's an iridescent ice this was the worst color in the entire palette it was the hardest to work with and even then i could not get any kind of payoff on it at all then we go on to phoenix Gorgeous, love this color, 113CM, creamy matte, and that's a gorgeous bright plum. Then we have Supernova, Supermodel, love this color, 114DC, it's a duochrome, and it's a brown silver, and as far as I'm concerned, I don't really think that it's as duochrome as the other color, which was called Orion, in the warmer shade family. Then we go to Electra. Electra is 115CM, creamy matte, and that's a medium grape. Then we go to Polaris, 116K, standing for crystal finish, and that's a gold encrusted nude. Then we have Attic, 117CM, standing for creamy matte, and that's a cool toned nude. The last color in the cool family is called Rhea, 118M, and that's a metallic, and that's a warm coral, and that is one of the most beautiful colors in this palette and I use this on my brow bone. So now we're going to go into the demo and I'm going to demonstrate this eye story that I have and then after that we're going to have the review and we're going to find out if it is FDV approved. Yes honey, yes! <laughs> I'm very playful today, I don't know why. Hi guys, so I'm using my Grand Work Pro Longwear and this is the Pintily Port Primer for the eyes so that I can 
have a great base to put on the shadows. And then I'm going to go in with Phoenix and I'm just going to put this all over my transition inner eye outer V in a circular motion. My brush is wet so that I can get the maximum color. And I'm going in with Earth and I'm just going to put it in the edges and the inner corners of my eye. Right there. Just to give it some depth. Then for the star of the show, I'm going in with a trio, and I'm using my fingers because I just feel that the application is so much better that way. And just blot out the edges so that you don't feel like Dracula because it can be very overwhelming. <laughs> so I do that too. It can look a little bit overwhelming. So you just blot out the edges from the outer V and the inner tear duct if you feel that the color is a bit much. Just blot it out and it becomes all nice and pretty again. <laughs> then using one of my all-time favorite pencils by Colourpop, this is called Creature, and I'm just putting this in the lower lash line and I'm going to blend it out. Then blend it out with a smaller brush because you want that gorgeous smoky eye. And I'm going in with my beautiful Juvia's Place Saharan Gel Liner in black. It's just the blackest black I have ever experienced in my entire existence. And it does not come off. This baby is everything. And it gives me that sexy eye. And then I'm just going to grease the brush onto my top lash line for inner depth and maximum blackness. And then to highlight my brow bone, I'm going in with Ria. Such a gorgeous color, such a yummy, yummy, yummy color. And I'm just going to bring it down a little bit, get it to the edge and let it just blend into Phoenix. So this is the look, my loves. I'm gonna put on some lashes and I'll be right back. Ta-da! And this is the finished look, guys. And I use bottom and top lashes, and I also use Atria on my lips as well. This is a Dolce & Gabbana Plum Lip Gloss, and I just put the shadow on top of it just to bring it all together. So the lashes are by Isla, yes, by Vegas Nee, Grand Glamour, and then I have bottom lashes, which are itty bitty ones. I'll put the name here below because I can't remember them. And this is the look, my loves. Yeah. We had to work it, boo-boo. We had to work it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ula, do you like it? It's nice, yeah. It's nice. Okay. okay, my love. So you have seen uh, the demo, and I tell you this. You have to have a base to use these shadows, on top of which I used all of my brushes wet, or damp, should I say, just to get the maximum payoff onto my lids. I had to do that unless it wouldn't have come off on my dark complexion. And this is why I do these reviews, swatches, and demos, is for my darker sisters. It is in no way near Juvia's palettes. I will always measure every single palette to Juvia's Place because Juvia's Place, every single pan, every single shadow is phenomenal. They pay off powwow. And that is what I'm going to measure with every single palette until something measures up. $169. Are you kidding me? That's absolutely ridiculous. It is not worth that at all. I had to dig in. I had to use my MAC mixing medium. I had to use a base just to have these shadows to pop off on my eyes and that's the gospel truth so as far as i'm concerned i think it's, it's too much work for a palette that is 169 dollars that is one i also feel that the colors could have been so much more interesting because she had the warm tones, she had the cool tones. She could have given us so much more of a variety and she could have brought it together by putting in for sure like a pitch black. Had to, 
you know there was no black in this and i did not use it in my eyes because i really wanted to stay true to the palette so i felt that you know what there were transition colors that will be deeper colors for my lighter skin sisters for my caucasian sisters that would work for them but for the dark girls us dark girls naomi campbell grace jones iman those are the girls that i think of melanin gorgeous because i think she's gorgeous this palette would not be that much all we would be able to use would be all of the crystal and the metallics and that's exactly what I did I quickly realized that these shadows work alone so if you want that pop take it woo woo woo, -woo. gorgeous absolutely fantastic you can even take a little bit of Vaseline a little bit and just glaze it over your eye do that kind of Pat McGrath theme beautiful absolutely gorgeous that I think would work but for the price if you are not a person like me who has issues I'm a makeup artist <laughs> okay and you're a makeup collector makeup lover go ahead for a new makeup artist or for just a new enthusiast or somebody that is being introduced to makeup I would not recommend you spending this amount of money on a palette because you really have to think outside the box be super super duper creative and try and get your money's worth out of it and the crumbling of all of the crystal and the metallics is just awful now let's go to the positives the creamy mattes were beautiful gorgeous love them all all of these colors I can use it on my lid space and I can have a fantastic nude warm no makeup makeup look which I think I'm going to do for you guys using this palette so that you guys can see what I'm talking about the duochrome was gorgeous and Mac has the same duochrome here but in all fairness the duochrome here was powwow in comparison to the Mac it was very fabulous as a matter of fact let me swatch that one for you this is the Mac and then look at the Natasha Denona so that's a huge huge difference so when it comes to quality girlfriend has it absolutely so all in all Ula is it FTV approved <sighs> I'm on the fence it is not FDV approved but it's not an FDV reject for the simple fact that for the price there should not be any crumbling and they should have a little bit more diversity for darker skinned ladies. I went onto her YouTube channel and there was not a single woman of color there that she did her makeup on. So if it's for my Caucasian ladies, they might feel differently, but for us dark sisters, it's not that friendly. Then the crystals and the metallics that would look fantastic on our complexion crumbles having said that the creamy mattes are beautiful she's got the crystals she's got the metallics she's got the creamy mattes and she's got the duochrome out of the four only two kind of sort of work with us out of those two one of them crumbles on top of the price point ugh. you can buy all the juvias for the same place let me even add to that love you ula you see ula ula's for the sisters you know you gotta love him if this palette it's $169 then every palette by Juvia's place each should be a thousand dollars for what we're getting so do you see why I'm on the fence it is not a wash but it's not a grab what can I say my loves don't forget to follow me on snapchat Instagram like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode I love you all so very much and I hope I'm not too much of a harsh critic I have to be honest I don't want you to go out and spend that kind of money and it's not what you expected that is why I'm here dark sisters unite well are you a dark sister united I support the United sisters <laughs> no the dark ones oh yeah of course you're better <laughs> I'll see you next week. Love and kisses. Bye. <laughs>